Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 here. Back with another reaction video. Today we're going to react to the truth about Erica Badu's cursed love life. Man, I ain't going to lie to you. Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. <laughs> you already know. The Baduism is in me. I ain't even going to deny it. I got to fucking fly. Flying around in here. Why well, you always got flies flying around? Because I got a crack in my window. And it's always open. And I got these lights right here. Which is going to attract the bugs to come in. And it's always a fucking fly. It always happens late at night. A fucking fly will just fly through the crack. I know I'm, I'm supposed to get some plexiglass pretty soon. You can keep coming around in a circle. Hopefully I got his ass. Bitch. Anyway, so when it comes to Erica Badu, I'm low key trying to be I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. If there is a woman out there. That I let take my that I let take that I let take me down bad. It'll probably be Erica Badu. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. Yeah. Now this ain't even the perfect song. This ain't even the perfect song. I ain't gonna even lie to you. If there was a woman that could put me down bad, it'd be Erica Badu. I ain't gonna lie to you. I know y'all probably look at Erica Badu and be like, man, she old, man. You really go listen, bruh. The things that that coochie can do, the thing that that, that coochie done done to men, I'm trying to experience that for myself. I'm trying to see what that, I'm trying to see what that utopia box about, my nigga. I ain't gonna even hold you. I'm trying to beat that, bro. I'm trying to beat the brakes off, off, off Erica Badu, man. I'm trying to get her all the dick. Y'all got me fucked up. If there was one woman. It'll be Erica Badu, hands down. That's the only woman that could probably put me down bad. Got me changing religions. Got me changing diets. Got me changing my lifestyle. <laughs> if there is a woman that could do it, it'll probably be Erica Badu. That'll probably be the only woman that could control me and tame me. I ain't going to even hold you, bro. I, 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 Erica Badu is my, is my, is my dream wife. I ain't going to lie to you. I beat the brakes off of Erica Badu. No questions asked. It's always going to be love over here for Miss Erica Badu. You already know. <laughs> you know that Badu hit. You know that coochie, you know, you know her coochie game on, on, you know her coochie game go over, over 9,000. You know this. You know her coochie game over 9,000. Why are we even debating it? It's inevitable. That woman will destroy. That woman had to destroy the greatest of men. Ain't no telling what that guac guac like. Woman probably trap you under the spell and leave you there till she don't want you no more. And welcome to the Badudio bedroom. Ooh, 
that's spicy. So urban legend has it that you cannot look Erica Badu in the eyes and not fall madly in love. But is the Badu box really a thing? Does Erica have real mystical powers? Is it a curse or a blessing? Stick around to find out all the spooky details. Okay, so for a very, very long time, followers have been convinced that Erica is some sort of magical creature and it has nothing to do with her soulful vocals. And her voice is beautiful, by the way. Facts. But like, there's just something about the way she dresses, talks, carries herself, and expresses herself. I also like to use my own one. Beautiful instrument, very low frequency, good for the lower chakras, uh, the lower nature. Spiritual energy, creative energy, tribal energy. Honestly, the kind of aura Erica gives off always gives the kind of vibes we see in mystical creature shows. Think Charmed, Merlin, Vampire Diaries, and so forth. And I know I'm speaking for a million others when I say that. Well, I've also watched enough shows to know that for every action, there's always a consequence, which is allegedly reflected in Erica's love life and her voodoo things. And I'm not just saying that because there have been actual stories, y'all. For instance, Glasses Malone once gave a story of how he was crazily attracted to Erica when he first saw her. And just before he was about to approach her, Birdman told him to calm the hell down and not approach her because she is straight up a witch. I looked in his face and it did not look like it was no joke. It looked like he was serious. Like she had some powers. And I remember just calming down like, you know what? Let me listen to this. You know, he's from New Orleans, Louisiana, so you know, they know about all that this stuff. Other people have also said over the years that there's just something about Erica, and it sure doesn't help that she has called herself a witch on several occasions. Maybe it's just to throw people off, but also it could be the truth, and she openly admits it as a joke, again, to throw people off. For instance, in 2016, Erica posted a fun promotional video of her getting psyched for the 2016 Soul Train Award. And one of her followers on Facebook wrote a comment after watching the video, I've always enjoyed her music and eccentric style, but that's a witch hat. And any other celeb who wears it does to service that purpose plain as day. Can't be down with that aspect. Erica was actually the first to reply to the comment and she wrote, I'm a witch. Men who've dated Erica in the past have also said that there's something about her. And while none of them have openly said anything specific, there's always been a conspiracy theory that she gives them passion fruit. And while I also cannot confirm whether there's something she gives people, here's a breakdown of some of the relationships that have failed, even though the men were completely in love with Erica. For starters, Erica dated Andre 3000, the two met sometime back in 1995 at a New York City nightclub. Erica even remembered the day she got pregnant so vividly. It was February 11th. And in November 1997, she gave birth to their son. Well, as soon as they started dating, the effect she had on him apparently started showing. When they met, he was in the process of finding his true self. And with the help of Erica, Andre 3000 made a smooth transition into the man he is today. Now, based on reports, Erica was actually the reason why he he ditched his jerseys and baggy jeans and found peace in more eclectic fashion choices and experimenting with his musical sound. What can she say except you're welcome? The next person who just couldn't resist Erica was Common, and they dated sometime between 2000 and 2002. His collaboration with Erica on Love of My Life, Ode to Hip Hop, actually earned him his very first Grammy, and Common also admitted that Erica Badu was his first love and his first heartbreak. Common is actually one person who talked about the Badu box when he said in a 2014 interview, yeah, the Badu box is real. It can take you to another universe. But seriously, that's when you meet somebody that's real special and you're like, man, this woman got, she got something else, man. It ain't just the sex. It ain't just the look. It's like something that's kind of like spirit wise where you're like, this woman got something else. It sounds like he got sucked down the matrix, y'all. Erica Austin. Nah, homie. As a, as a Virgo, I can tell you about the child of a doubt. She put that voodoo on you, brother. She put that voodoo on you, brother. She put that voodoo on you. She had that sage burning in the background. She had her vocals. 
playing, and it wasn't even no fucking speakers. She wasn't even singing. It was just her vocals just echoing around you and the aura. And all of a sudden, She put that voodoo on you, bruh. That's how she gets you. All these all these songs that she made throughout the years, they all voodoo songs. They all here to get you. That's how she gets you in. So dated the DLC. And while I'm not certain when they actually began dating, their daughter Puma was born in the summer of 2004. Things also didn't work out between the two of them. And during an interview the DLC did with the Dallas Observer, he gave details about Erica's Dallas home and spoke about how enchanted he was by her and how he hoped to film a reality show that would end with the two of them tying the knot on the final episode. I'm also not sure why they broke up, but other than the DLC, Erica was was also involved with Jay Electronica. No one knows when or why Erica and Jay broke up, but they have a child together named Mars, and Erica is still very present in Jay's life. In addition, Erica also once dated Carl Jones, who she met sometime around 2014, when Erica was asked to do voiceover work for Black Dynamite. At the time when they met, Carl was married, and his wife was reportedly right by his side when Erica was completing the voiceover project. But he still fell head over heels for Erica. In fact, in fact, in 2015, Carl couldn't stop tweeting about Erica, and he shared countless selfies of Erica and proclaimed his love for her. A source even told the Jasmine brand that their alleged affair reportedly led to the end of Carl's marriage. I mean, what were we expecting here? And yes, Erica knows that people have been talking about the kind of hold she has over men. Back in 2020, she even told Rolling Stone that there's an urban legend that her VJ changes men, saying, the men that I fall in love with and fall in love with me change jobs and lives okay girl i heard that so since there were already stories about her mystical powers erica also decided to drop her badu pussy premium incense a fragrance she made to smell like her bj in 2020 and it sold out on her online shopping store within minutes of its availability While all right y'all y'all go crazy now that's some weirdo shit right there bro bro y'all going crazy now y'all want all right, bro. Y'all got that one. Now I, I'm I'm in the midst of Erica Badu, but I can't I can't go that far now. Cause I'm not a nigga that's gonna sit up here and, and burn an incident and wish that that was some some Erica Badu for Jake. No, 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 no. When I see Erica Badu, trust me when I tell you, I'm gonna get my. <laughs> I'm the type of nigga that I go up. To, I'm the type of nigga that I approach you and get what I want. She, and she know it too. She know I'm out there. I'm putting it out there into the atmosphere, so she knows somewhere I'm here. She gonna come for me one day. I guarantee you. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. But just give me three and a half minutes. Maybe even four. I tear that ass up, boy. I tear that ass up, boy. You already know. Don't play with me. Oh my god. You already know. Don't play with me. While she came up with a product that literally represented her essence, Erica told BET, first of all, I'm Erica Badu. Secondly, in this industry, it's a legend that my box changes people. It changes their influences, their religion, their politics, and everything else. So that's why I decided to do it. I feel like everybody deserves it. I feel like I deserve that too, Erica. Oh, and in case you are wondering what were the ingredients of that incense that sold out in 19 minutes, Erica told 10 Magazine, I took lots of pairs of my panties, cut them up into little pieces and burned them. Even the ash is part of it. I don't know y'all. That's some weird voodoo if you ask me. And I sure hope you are ready for more enchantment because Erica also already worked on her own marijuana strain as she partnered with rapper and entrepreneur Burner to introduce the strain, That Badu. Enter. 
and noticed that there was no area in the cannabinoid world where women were uh, being focused on. Mm -hmm. So my focus in cannabinoids is women's studies in the body, in childbirth, in meditation and religious studies and spirituality. Anyway, with everything that has been said and all that Erica does, do you see why it's easy for people to believe that it can't just be normal? Well, on an episode of the Tamron Hall Show, Erica also explained that yes, her magic is in her eyes, but also in between her ears. You are acutely aware of the urban legend that men can't look you in the eye without falling in love. Women too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So think any breathing thing. Any, any living breathing thing? Erica then went on to explain where the real power lies, according to her. I think it's indescribable. And the bedroom, that's not where you're gonna find it because my my magic doesn't lie between my thighs, it lies between my ears. Regardless, followers still said that there was some voodoo going on between those ears. With the even bigger questions fans having been, if she has such a hold over men, then how did she end up with three kids by three baby daddies? Like, shouldn't she be able to keep a man for good? Unless, of course, that's the price she has to pay. You know what? Maybe I'm just reaching at this point. But you let me know what you think. Do do you believe Erica has that special hold or has she just done a great job at selling her brand? Sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And if you thought this video was messy, wait till you see the next one. Whatever. But anyway, so like I said, look, Erica Badu, look, I'm putting it out there. I, I said if there's any woman I'd be down bad for, it's Erica Badu. I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere. All you got to do is come find me. I don't care if it take you. I don't care if it take you 8 years, 10 years, 12 years. I don't care. I put it out there in the atmosphere. You know where to find me. I ain't going to say it because I'm on camera. But you know. Miss Erica Badu, you know. I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere. If you want me, I ain't gonna be hard to find. And when you see me, know my intentions. Cause I'm trying to I'm try, I'm trying to tear that ass up. For real. For real. I'm trying to tear that ass up. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to put that utopia box on a different level. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to Hey, I didn't have some. I didn't have. Hey, I didn't have some good Utopia box before. But I'm trying to see what that Badu box about. I ain't trying to get no incense. I don't want to do that. I want the real deal. I'm a Virgo. I'm an Earth Tone nigga. Shout to my Virgo, Virgo game. You know what I'm saying? You a Pisces. You water. You water. You more element base. But I'm earth. I'm earth tone. You know what I'm saying? Without earth, there could be no water. And without water, there could be no earth. So I'm saying. What's happening? You know what's up? I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm putting all your voodoo tricks out there, baby girl. All you gotta do is come find me. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious too. I'm dead ass serious. I know your auras are around here somewhere. They, when you call on them, they sprinkle around. I know it. You gon' you gon' you gon' come my way. And when you do, you gon' fall in love with a nigga. I, I already know it. I already know it. you gon' fall in love with a nigga. I already know it. 
<laughs> that's like <laughs> y'all. Sit, I'm sitting up here acting like I'm about to summon. I'm sitting up here acting like I'm finna summon Erica Badu up in here. I'm sitting up here like like I'm finna summon Erica Badu in here. Like I'm like I'm trying to summon Candyman. The fuck. <laughs> Anyways, no, I'm about to get up out of here, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Till then, peace out.